Alrighty guys, welcome back to the first episode of ARK after I had an accident. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I had a little mistake. It's also a lot noisier around here now because I got that thing. You're not the one I need. Okay, but anyways, today we are going to be finishing up a farm I started. So as you can see here, I got a little farm going here. Um, it's, it's supposed to be based off of like adobe buildings like the actual way they were built but i'm having a little difficulty here so this one here i've made for polymer so we're going to be putting the caruco the penguins up in there so that way that they can pop out just like we had on uh the island we're going to probably do a little bit not as dense um, but then in here we have room for something else uh i was thinking we could make this either a kibble or I could put another row on top here and we can make this the mutton and have the ovis in here. Um, this one up here is a bit bigger than the others as well. Because it goes to the back of the room. I'm thinking this would be perfect for the moss chops. Just so that way I don't have to put shelves and I can get them in here and they like won't get wedged around. So I might just do moss chops in here for that kibble. And then I will get the, I gotta, I'm thinking about it. I think I want to get this, these, the orange here and not the bricky texture. I want the orange painted in the color of the kibble. But first, I gotta see if I can do something here real quick. Because I gotta get, I gotta get eggs hatching. And I've had two eggs I've been sitting on that I tried getting here from the oil jug bugs. And if they hatch, again, this would be perfect. No, give me your oil. Thank you. Ah! I hate the auto. I do. I want to take it off every door. Okay. How you doing? You're incubating. Okay. You are also incubating. Perfect. I will come back here in three minutes. So, I did grab a lot of stuff off the island for us to use, such as these guys. The farmer, the item collector, and the nanny. Now, I did lose some things, I'm pretty sure. Nope, I got them. So, I got my egg, two egg incubators and my hatchery. Uh, unfortunately, luckily, 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 luckily... I can set up a quick temporary egg hatcher here, and we can get setting up a farm. Alright, where I'm setting this up, I want at least some protection nearby. So Gunner's gonna come and, like, protect me from the stuff that would come this way. As you can see, I've, can, I've kind of been positioning the bigger dinos around. Okay, he's just scared of me. I was scared of him, he's scared of me. Everything's fine. We got him in sights. Nailed him. But anyways, I'm gonna just get this set up here real quick. Thanks to that tech Johnny, everything should be powered. Alright, I can just place things down. I know I originally said I wasn't gonna be bringing over any element or stuff like that. But I had a uh, thing happened. So, what we're going to be using is that 300 element that was in the transmitter there is going to be used. And I'm going to just use the transmitter here because it's faster than walking over there. Um, but anyways, once that 300 element's out, that generator's out. So, we got a limited amount of time to do stuff. And since how we do also have these incubators, this is probably pointless. And these guys will actually get a better buff from the incubators. So, and here we go. And they see that like current temperature. That means that they all get like a boost. Uh, yeah, increased boost, incubation boost actually. So they'll go faster. So I'm trying to look here at charge, but I need to go double check. I think that yeah, it doesn't matter on these two guys because I'm just gonna use them for oil. I'm sorry, I don't have much food. If you live, you live. So. 
I also might want to put up a wall of some sorts around the base. A defensive perimeter. I've only noticed small guys coming up, so it might just be like wooden spikes, if anything. Honestly. So I'm just going to leave these guys here. It's probably a little risky, but seeing so I am going to go just set up a quick defensive perimeter. Okay, here we go. Got all my spikes. I had to remember to go make the normal spikes because I don't like how the S plus ones work. I know they're really handy, like if you need to get them to snap together. But, I mean, I can do this. And I just realized I can't do that because I've already started doing it this way. So, I hope I have enough for this wall. This is mostly where I've noticed predators coming from, also from the blue ob, so I'll get something set up towards blue ob. This is just to be deniance. It won't stop anything big, but it would slow down anything big. And I might see their damage numbers. Ow! Okay. That looks like it would work. I mean, a Rex would go right over that, but that should keep anything I don't want out. And here's the thing, off to the water's tricky, because I want water access. Ah, oh, damn it. That's what it is. Okay, they fell for one of the bait Jeroboas. Let's throw you back out into that way. Let's throw you off this way. So these Jeroboas I bred up here, the extra ones I'm just using as bait. These, a couple of these guys are also the original, so. You know what? You could go this way. We got, the, I feel like that area is all good. Um, just in case anything run by, runs by, they'll go to the, them before the babies. You guys eating? You guys are starving. I'm also hungry. My stomach's growling. I should probably get me food here before this video is over. Probably be a smart idea. Are you guys eating? Or do you guys only eat plant species X? Or Y? No, you're eating. You're eating. They're eating. I think they eat berries. I think they eat berries. So I need a berry picker. Unfortunately, that's probably going to be me for the time being until I actually get something I can do. Because here's the thing with babies. A berry picker would be any herbivore, really. An iguanodon, most likely, is what I'd prefer. Should probably get one anyways. Because an iguanodon would be perfect for the farm. Okay. So, I've gotten me berries. But I've also decided I really need to get working on the farm now. So... We've mostly just gotten set up the breeding aspect. So we got everything set up so that way it would work. Now it's time to get building. Okay, so what I have planned is this. So we're going to go up two more so it sticks out one further than that. Now we're going to make it so that way it's six wide in the front. Boom. Now I need a gate. Alrighty, now I need an adobe gateway and an adobe gate. We don't need our hot water right now, so we'll do this. Okay, now all I need is you to snap there. Perfect. Number eight. Boom, what is that? Okay, it's just a dough deck. I need ramps now. Okay, I'm using femur as a guide right now. And, whoops. And I'm thinking, because I'd have to go one wall higher than this one. So it would be, it wouldn't be four high, it'd be five high. But if I leave out the foundation, they should be fine. And I'm wondering if I could get away with just some pillars and be okay. Okay, so I've gotten the walls up on the front. I guess this is going to give me a general look of what it's going to... That's quite big. Oh my god. 
I unfortunately I learned I need big for the U ties. For if I want them to egg. Um Dinoticus don't give me eggs that I need. They only give me raptor eggs. Otherwise I have to like breed constant U ties and crack the like use actual fresh eggs. That is an option though. You could use the Dino what I was using, I was using the Dinoticus. I just turn them on the male on to enable mating. And I'd collect all the fertilized eggs and turn them into soup, or and turn them into kibble. I mean, it took a lot, but it took a while. But you got you got it. But I couldn't like let it passive farm at all. Was the problem? Um, I think I should do a roof next, because I can't get the walls just right yet on the sides. Okay. Now, boom, boom. Boom. Okay. Let's get me a little landing pad up there. Okay. Oh, shoot. Fell right through. And Archie's still up there. Dang it. Come on, bird. Let's go. Okay, so I've gone through and I've placed down my first pillars. Hopefully these... Yes, they're working. Okay, now I, let's see if I can get another row on here. Okay, six ceilings coming up. One. That's my shotgun. Now it's a good thing I started with my own... These walls back here. Whoops, I'm just walking into the bird because those walls connected to that ceiling down there. And yeah, it's just a slight height change. It's legit by one ceiling, you can tell. Okay, I'm using femur right now to test to make sure I can get U ties in between all this. I think, yeah, I could even get U ties. I can get U ties in here with the pillars. The pillars do not, like, they can squeeze right in between. Oh my god, is a U tie only one wide? I get no. It's a bit. It's probably like a bit wider than one wide because I got a lot more than one here. I got like one and a half. Also, a U tie apparently puts through this gate. And I think we are a good done. We don't have that wall up yet, and there's a reason for that, and that's because I think I'm gonna have to put the fairy pen here, and I don't know how I want to do it yet. So I don't know if I'm gonna like have the fairy pen like be like you know. Right here, then it's foundations over, and then wall. Because that would take up a lot. I, well, if I do wall foundations, I'd have enough room. For fairies, definitely. Um, The U-Ties, though, it's like big in here. It's actually bigger than... This entire room is bigger than this. This is bigger than my house. It's bigger than where I live. Also, these jug bugs are getting full. Let's get some oil -a. I've been stocking up quite a bit. Um, I'm just letting things go here so that way I can get me an Indie Forge. Also, sorry I didn't have in this video the Fabricator. We had it in the video where I was planning on bringing the stuff over and then it crashed. Oh my god, I completely spaced off about something. Let's grab you, throw you over there. Now, if there's a Jeroboa I need, it's in here. Please tell me that was the one you were incubating, no? Huh. Well, I mean, I have my personal one here, red. Then we got, this is the breeding one right here. Any others that are accountable? Or usable? I need a female as well, that's the thing. I completely spaced this off, I forgot I had him breeding. What are you? 37. What are you? You know what? You are 37. You're more fully grown than this one. This is the worst part about it. Oh 
I killed both those Jeroboas. God damn it. I messed up big time. Dang it. I did it again. Alrighty. Come on. We ain't done yet. You guys don't get to go outside yet. And become bait. Do I not have you guys turned on to... Lowest. Okay. There. Now you're following me. He's following me. There we go. I don't know what that was. Um, but let's separate you more. I want you in the corner. That just legit threw you right there. And I'm going to have red with me so that way I can hear if there's a storm incoming. Okay. Now it's gotten dark. Now we need to gamma up. So, we are now working on the fairy pen, and I'm kind of just going to stick with what we had here for the Utah, where we have the drop down and it expands. So, yeah, we're going to try that. Now that it's night, it also means I get to do this. I get to use my hot water instead of the cold. So, I should be good with just that one. But I should also be done here with the fairy walls shortly. I mean, these two pens aren't really exactly awe-inspiring as uh, last time where I was designing them. I mean, these are going to be roughly the same shape, but they're boxes because I'm going with this Adobe style. The style I wanted is mostly like where they're all stacked together like this. Like, that way, like, that one's nice. Um... I'm going to do something over here. I'm going to try and get the dodo pen, like, right here. Somehow. I'm going to try and squeeze it in. Up in front. If I can. And then we're going to put more farms on top of these as well. And here is the last wall. So this here will be the fairy egg pen. So I'll put the fairies in here to gestate eggs. Now it's time for the dodos. Now, these guys are just going to get shoved here in this corner. I'm not going to do anything too fancy for the dodos this time. Um, I might go a little higher, though, on the roof than I anticipated. No, I think this should be good. Yeah, this should be good for the dodos. Alrighty, we got a storm inbound. My Jerobo is making a noise. Red's making a noise. That's their name, by the way. I keep on forgetting I named it Red. Only reason I kept it, though, is because of its red color. Okay, so I've gotten this place built up. So we got this one here. We're going to put another pen back in here somewhere. Um, and then we're going to try and do the last one here on top of the Utah pen. Then we should be up to painting. It is legit a heat wave. Oh my god. It, I am frying out here. That should help a bit, but like... It's a super heat. Also, I've been thinking about doing something here one of these episodes. I mean, we got Gunner, we got Archie, we got Dez. Those are our three best flyers we've ever had. Alright? Now, Gunner, I know, will outrun them. That's wyverns. We might go in for some wyverns here. Because I know there's 190s in that canyon. There's got to be. We got a problem. Ooh, we got a problem. Uh, a thorny dragon has snuck in. And just killed one of the jug bugs. That was a 130 as well. Oh, where did you even get in at? I guess you just... Yeah, you wandered in from here. Here. You got the jug bug, though. Jug bug was left... He probably came through there. Probably. But anyways, I do got another pen put up in here. I think I'm gonna do some ramps in the back. And we're gonna make this into the... We're gonna make this into the Ovis area for the raw mutton. Or for the mutton. Okay, now I've gotten the ramps put up in here. 
Now, the last one to do would be the Raptor Pen. I believe is what I want to do. It's Raptors and Terror Birds that we're on to, because... This is going to be the Argentavis or Moss Chop. I haven't decided yet. Then, below that, we got the CP and the Polymer. Then we got the Utai, Fairy, and then Ovis. So, I've gotten... We've gotten three of the eggs. We've gotten three of the eggs. Hold up. Yeah, all I have left to do is really just the Raptor pen and then the... Was it? Then the... Yeah. We should... We are nearly done. Okay, now we are nearly done with this one again. These are also really simple. It's just the resources. Now... I should not have done that. Let's quickly cancel... I need two walls like that. There we go. Boom. Okay, guys. So, the structure is put together. Now, it is time for painting. And then we'll start filling it up with dinos. Well, it's done. I got it painted. So, I tried painting it the best I could for what you guys wanted me to with it. So, again, we got the U ties because they're the extraordinary in the blue and then so on and so forth. So, we got all the ones like for the kibbles. All these adobe structures should be painted exactly the same color as the kibble the creature will give me. And then for the three that are. What are they? So, for the mutton, this one. The meat from that one, and then the polymer, and then that one. Those ones, I just painted up colors as well, so that way they match with the design instead of just being brown. But I really like it, the way this turned out. It looks nice, but it also looks like a house of Legos. But anyways, let's go look at what I forgot to do yet again. There's just a pile of them. You know what, though? You might be my lucky break there at 43. Are you going to be my lucky break? You are. Come here. Okay. T passive. Now let's start hatcheting away. Oh, I killed my own Jeroboa. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. He read. Uh, you mind going over here for a second? Thank you. Here, I'm, I'm going to take you outside. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your buddy there. Um, I think we need a distraction out over here. There we go. We'll get up a spike wall here eventually on that side when I get time for it. I wanted to get this done today. I missed a wall. Now, I want you guys to understand something. This isn't fully painted. I mean, there's still structures in here that aren't painted yet. Like the walls that you can't see. All of them. Every single wall you can't see. Ceiling, wall, floor. All of them. Not painted. Well, I, I had to paint the floors in here. But, like, yeah, back wall, not painted. Also, I don't think I finished this, this wall. Yep, there's still a hole. To get under. Oh my. I might actually keep this here. Secret tunnel. That's what it's going to be. Forgot what the, how the rest of the song goes. But yeah. Anyways that's going to probably be it for this episode. Uh, my hair is starting to grow back out. Need a haircut already. But we do got a very very nice start here. On this. So. Next episode, we're going to probably be hatching up eggs and filling it up. And we might even go after a little sneaky wyvern. So, I'll catch you guys then.